This is an art attack? This is an art attack. This is Art Attack! Hello and welcome to Leo Seisos Pantheon, fortnightly podcast with me, your host, Leo Seisos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we are joined by Neil Buchanan, popularly known for being the original presenter of Art Attack between 1990 and 2000. We are also joined by my co-host, Sebastian. So this is a slightly different format today for the interview. Both of you, welcome to the show. Ah, hello there. <laughs> I'm Nib Buchanan. Um, I was born in October the 11th, 1961 in Liverpool and apparently I was the co-founder of the Murder M- uh, Media Merchants. Okay. You don't know if you were. Well, I do. Um, but the first four series of Art Attack was co- was co-production by TVS Production for ITV. However, not for long now. On the fifth on the fifth series of Art Attack in 1993, it was now produced by Media Merch Hunts. Okay, well, you I actually didn't get a chance to ask my first question, Neil. But um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> How are you, Sebastian? Neil, it's really great to have you here. How are you doing? Oh, oh, oh I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine, really. I'm, I, I am a, quite a musician and uh, an, an whoa, whoa, artist. Whoa, whoa. Neil, I am Neil, here. Neil, um, Neil, me. I, 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 I'm, I've got, I I've got the questions. Slow, yeah, slow Neil, down, slow Neil, down. I've got the questions. This interview is going to last 20 seconds if you continue at this rate. <laughs> Okay, right, okay. Um, I was going to... My first question, Neil, was actually to suggest... To, to say that primar- you are primarily known as a presenter of Art Attack, which aired on CITV in the UK. And this programme, as you've already stated, it was actually something that you co-created yourself, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. But you weren't actually just on Art Attack. There, there were other TV shows that you sort of made a presence on during the 90s. Is that right? Uh, uh, no, um, I only appeared in uh, the version of Art Attack, while Art Attacks were filmed all over the, around the world, were, were different presenters, not, not myself. I mean, that's, that's not strictly true though, is it, Neil? Uh, as far as I'm aware, you did co-present a show called Animal Crazy. Um, I can't remember what the last time I did that, I, it was quite a while ago, really. I study um, art and stuff like that. I, I visit schools to um, help viewers draw draw really really neat drawings like that. If you know what I mean, really. Yeah, but we're talking about the other programs that you were on. I mean, of course that you were the presenter of Art Attack, and of, yes, clearly you know you, you spent a lot of time invested going around different schools and helping pe- uh, children to refine their artistic skills. Um, but it's, I mean, the information I've got in front of me says that you presented Finders Keepers from 1991 to 1996. Um, yeah, yeah it's, that's right. It's a mystery from 1996 to 2000. And you also appeared in Zap between 1993 yeah, and yeah. 1998. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I appeared as Smart, Smarty Arty, um, the, the character. Um, Smarty what? On this one, really. Could you go into a bit more detail about Smarty Arty? Um, as a character, Smarty Arty from Zap, I, I did, a, I did an episode of of the Big Art Attack of the character himself, which I was on, um, in series ten, episode five, in nineteen ninety eight, where I did a Big Art Attack sure. in the Art okay. Attack studio. But tell me about, tell me more about Arty Farty or what. Oh, f- farty arty. Farty arty. Oh, uh, farty oh, arty. Uh, I, I, I watched it. Oh, I, it's been a while since I did. I, I, no, I noticed that some people did the reference of, uh, of the name after my program I produced, Art Attack. Was farty arty. Um, um, I started YouTube, and it's no longer no longer any, on it any day. So, so just to just to clarify, if, if anything, 
didn't happen in your immediate life, you, you can't talk about it. Um, Any, anything, you... anything from um, beyond ten years, you, you you can't remember. You can't talk about it. Oh, uh, I because, it might sound... because as far as I can tell personally, I, d I don't know about Leo, but really struggling to get um, details and concise intel. Well, what um, I noticed, Neil, thing. is that you started off saying, oh, no, 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 it was only art attack that I presented, and then you instantly were talked about farty arty, or whatever the character's called, from Zap. You so were... you do acknowledge that you were in these programmes? Is it just that you don't want to acknowledge that you're in these pro Are you embarrassed about them? Um, uh, I, I, I was quite... I was quite a bit embarrassed, but um, I don't. I don't mind really. Um, I just know they only did like a parody or, or references of my own program. Um, Farty Arty. Um, Art Attack, which means it, the name starts out fairly when people say they have a heart attack, which means they're probably gonna die any time soon. Really. So you named the program Art Attack after a serious medical condition in which people nearly die. Um, it's meant to sound like a, a rhyme, really. Oh, it's meant to sound like a rhyme. Yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah, that yeah. makes it okay then. Oh, yeah. People die of this, but it's okay. It's just a rhyme. Yeah. No big deal. Just banter. Art. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too right. Art and art is meant to be like a, a rhyme, really. Oh, art. Yeah. Art. Uh, and, and oh, fart. do you get it, Leo? You get and it. Fart. Oh, it's meant to be a rhyme. Heart attack, art attack, and farty arty. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the kind of rhyme that sounds the same at the end, but with different letters at the starting. But when you start saying. Pardon? Uh, I, I, I couldn't help but notice, Neil, that you said that you were born and grew up in Liverpool. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. In 1961, I was born, and my birthday's in October, and my star sign is Libra. You sound nothing like you're from Liverpool, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm like, I was born in Liverpool, really. <laughs> um, I, 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 I did an episode where I made, I made a star sign showing my, what my birthday is um, in Series 7, Episode 3, 1995, where All right. I, made a, I made a Buster of Paris right, 3D, huh? 3D, 3D mm -hmm. model out of Buster of Paris and the empty clean margarine top. Okay. <laughs> so, Neil, um, in 2000, Britt Allcroft purchased the rights from you for Art Attack, and you actually came out with a sum of 14 million. I can't remember whether that was pounds or dollars. Oh, um, yeah. Art Attack got produced by Ghislaine Entertainment, um, probably in 2001, um, okay. along with uh, the media merch hunt. Um, then in 2004, it was then copyrighted by Hit Entertainment, with the company who known as Bob the Builder and Thomas and Friends and Wyman Sam. But you Percy had you had nothing to do with it by this Pinkham. point, did you? Let's keep all the kid shows under the same hat. Sure, self-contained. Centralisation of children's I'm TV. How, I'm just all about how how Art Attack was produced. Then was then produced by Hit Entertainment in probably 2004. But presumably, like you, you had nothing to do with Art Attack by that point. Oh, oh, oh no! Um, I, I, I did enjoy being in a, being as a presenter of Art Attack for year seventeen years ago. Really. And when you're um, offered a sum of fourteen million. Just count for a second, actually. Um, how how did you get um, how did you get to be the presenter of Art Attack? I mean, obviously, um, I know you are the creator of the show. Um, but what gave you the idea to actually think? Oh, I've. This, I think this could be really good for television. Um, like, did, did someone approach you? Approach the studio? What? what? Um, before we start making a show in the studio, we had to put a word together 
making lots of different ways that we can teach uh, young viewers how to do. They can they could they could do the same like we we do whatever they want. Of course, they don't have to really. Um, they could just make create their own ideas in their own heads really. Like I said in on the video just release, Art Attack Most Wanted, where you don't just need to copy what I do. You can also use the ideas to make your own art attacks. Oh, that doesn't answer my question, but thanks anyway. Oh, that's all right then. I don't mind. I don't really. How did you How did you feel about it makes taking? It wondering. Um, you, you know, you know how I. You may think I was the only presenter in in the program Art Attack. Have you noticed there was another person who always comes straight after after I meant said said to viewers. Try it yourself. Oh, you're referring to the infamous head. Yeah, the That's head. Right. Yeah. Um, so the head. Who, whose idea was that? Um, the the I think the idea of the head. Uh, you could give out extra advices to young viewers not to not to do not to go around doing dangerous things like I do in these big art attacks. Like, don't go around playing around with dangerous tools or go around and playing. Go up, don't go sprinkling sand and dirt in your grass. It's it's God, not like you were de- it's not like you were handling you jigsaws or anything though, Neil. I mean, it, you, the, the the worst you had was paper scissors. And paper and scissors, it, jigsaw. You mean? Oh, and oh, I was going to tell you that I was going to tell you what I did in series seven, Jeez. episode seven, nineteen ninety five. I made a a crazy jigsaw pattern. Did you? The episode, the one. The one I, um, the one I go, I did a big art attack of the canoeist out of camping equipment. Oh, right. I did a Ethan William mask and uh, well, I'll be draw down. some clean eyes in that in that same episode. Oh, really? Can you just answer my question, please? Was the head based off you? Um, I, I don't think so, really. Um, you don't think, think so? It was, it was kind of based on ordinary. Stone bust heads you find in art galleries, really, in well, art actually, museums. I, I, before I move on to my next question, Neil, I, I do, there is something I just want to pick up on as well that didn't get answered earlier. But I guess um, I'm just wondering, who did the voice for the head? Um, Frank is wait. He only, he only so it wasn't the... you. No, no, it wasn't me, really. It, Frank is wait did the voice of the head in Art Attack Series Three in 1992. After the first and the second series of Art Attack, where the head was designed as a human with grey face paintings, but yeah, no yeah, longer now. Like right now, in series three of Art Attack, the head was now redesigned as the puppet. Ah, uh, you saw, so that wasn't really working for the kids then. Uh, yeah, it, it was meant to be the work for for kids, really. How? Kids, but what happened kids, to kids, the kids. head? Why was it replaced? Um, maybe because um. It may be. It may look improved, really. Um, but the head was shouldn't shouldn't be designed by a human anymore. It should be designed as the as the puppet. So it might. So it should be easier for uh, as as most puppeteers do. They put their hands in the puppet's mouth to make them to make them look like they're speaking. Yeah. Budget. Yeah. Budget. You save a lot of money on face paint that way as well. Mm. To, to save a lot of face painting, really. So the puppet should. So I think the puppet looks a lot more better, really. Yeah, it did definitely do the job. And it wasn't. Um, it wasn't. The was, was the previous head. I've got to be honest. No, no it, it, was it, was, head, it, it was the head. It was the head we already know, really. The, the the puppet one, the one who had an easel right next to him that springs up, showing what he's got. Something that could be. That, that's not really good. On the one, hey? Yeah, he's a pretty iconic guy. I've got to confess, yeah. I've only just clicked that there are actually two separate heads. That yes, there was the original head who was very dry in his approach, but the puppet head had a lot more humour about it. But I'm just yeah, wondering I'm... as well, what 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 happened to the head? Because the later series, when you actually sold the rights for Art Attack, was replaced by a palm tree. Um. I don't. I really don't like the idea how they do the palm tree because it doesn't look, 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 look more like a proper art program to me. As my own version, of the one on Disney Junior did in 
2011. Well, that's what I'm I, wondering, I, Neil. How did it feel? That well, This is my original question, really, that got missed. But uh, you, um, you, you took the rights... You, you, you sold the rights, sorry, for £14 million, And Art Attack was essentially your baby. So... Obviously, there's a lot of money and there's a lot of incentive to sort of want to take that, but how did it feel to almost watch the show become something completely different? Um, it, 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 I mean, I, 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 I sold, I sold the, uh, the rights of Art Attack to Disney Junior because obviously, back in the past really, when there are other different Art Attack different languages in, in all over the world really like Japan or um, India and um, that they were copyrighted by Disney not in this country in the UK really so Disney would try to sweep up all the yeah, articles, um, including your own my, 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 well, my original version in the UK was produced on ITV in, in, in the 90s and the 2000s obviously ok so where's the head now um, he's no longer on it any, anymore. Because the last time we saw him was what at the end of Art Attack Series Seventeen in two thousand and four, where his jokes have come, come can be quite awful sometimes. Really, sure. But do you, uh, where's the head now? Is he in the archives? Do Do you have the puppet, the original puppet? Do um, or is that something that the studio keep or? I, I don't know what I, I can't remember the last time I saw him really so it's lost yes, for a better half of a decade so the, the latest original ITV version of Art Attack is in series 18 to series 20 which is just only myself really if you were going to do the voice for the head what would he sound like um uh, I would sound I would make like um a sort of a mocky imitating imitating way really could you give us an example i'm just curious what the head would sound like from neil buchanan um i don't, I don't know if i could do this but but, but, I'll, but i'll do it but i'll do it if you promise not to laugh especially not especially if you should i don't want you to laugh about my old hairstyle but like i said head on the art attack how to draw a video chess release no, uh, here, here goes that. Um, <clears throat> Hello, it's me again. The hate. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry. Let, 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 I it's not that, it's all, it's all right, really. It's alright, really. And you don't have to say sorry, really. I'm just a little bit embarrassed, really. You don't have yeah, to be embarrassed, Neil. So Neil, you said that you were always into art even before Art Attack. You studied art at school, didn't you, um, in college? Um, yeah, yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, I was actually. Art. Talking about art, it, there are lots of different ways to do art. It's like making your own music, really. And 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 we'll get to that because you are actually in a metal band called Marseille. Um, that's yeah, my, yeah, I was actually. That's my next question, though. But before we go there, what are some of your favourite artists, Neil? What's some of my favourite artists? Um, Mona Lisa, I should think. Mona Lisa is one of the most most famous artists picture in history, really. Mona Lisa Mona, wasn't an artist, mate. Woman had no eyebrows. No eyebrows. She had no eyebrows, really. She. She was putting my in my in my old intro of Art Attack in the early 1990s. It's in series one to series seven. But the Mona Lisa wasn't an artist; it was a painting. Uh, well, I, I did use a bit. I did use a picture of the Mona Lisa from the episode, uh, from the episode where I made pasta frame in Art Attack series four. That's right. But what are some of your favourite artists? Um, can't think really. <laughs> you can't think. <laughs> you you presented you're, Art Attack you're, you're, for over a decade, you're, you're, and you can't a show think. all about art and encouraging kids to do art and make art and be creative, and you can't name one single artist. I'm starting to doubt your talents. Oh, 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 o
I'm, I'm starting to doubt whether you actually are an artist. So. Who inspires you? Who 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 makes you want to sort of do make your own art? Who who really grabbed your creativity as a child? Um, I, 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 I did I did I did created art tag along with Tim Edmonds. That's oh, fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Who are your favourite artists? Um, one of my favourite artists. Um, um. Uh, it's very, it's very hard to choose, really. So you can't. Think I might of it. No, no, no. It's fine. We established this earlier. Neil can't remember anything from before ten years ago. Oh, so, but does that mean, Neil, that you haven't looked at art or artists in the past ten years? Is that is it a chapter of your life which is just gone? Oh well, uh, you took the money and ran, didn't you? You just took that no, money no, and you I, ran. I, I think this makes sense. The fact that you haven't been actually been on Art Attack or presenting Art Attack since um, 2007, um, that whole portion of your life is now just a blur, um, as you're now focusing more on your work with Marseille. Um, I, I do enjoy doing, make, doing it, being in a musical band, really. Tell us a little um, bit about Marseille, then. Tell us a bit about the band. Uh, the band was quite. It was quite. It's full of a lot of lovely colours, really, and colours make colours made art, right? Um, and I, I thought that most artists make music in their own way, in their own creative way, really. So for you, you describe music. yourself as a um, as a musician first, um, having gone as far as to saying it runs in your blood. Um, I mean, Marseille's actually been going since 1976. I just want to throw that in there. It's, it's a long-running band. Um, I have to, I have to admit, I had a loss of memory. You see, you have a loss of memory. I, I'm just a developing an amnesia, really. You've got amnesia. Developed amnesia. Is yeah. that is that during this interview or is this like a recent medical condition that you've picked up? Don't, don't doubt him. Um, I used I used to be quite really quite clever basically, but um, as I was as I'm fifty six um, as I was fifty six right uh, now, do, you know, yeah. um, I can't seem to remember what remember what really. I think you might be going. Senior. I apologise, Neil. I feel I've been a little bit insensitive during our conversation. Um, can I just take this opportunity to apologise? Um, you don't have to apologise, really. I do. I do. Um, I'm sorry. I haven't apologised. Um, I, I, I am a nice guy, really. Um, it's, it's quite um, tr tr tricky to tell about the tr true facts about myself and co the work I have done, really. Well, it, it, it sounds incredibly tricky to think of a single artist that you like. Yeah, you can't say that, really. I think we should all try ourselves, really. Try what? To remember an artist? Yeah, try it ourselves. That's what I, that's, like I said on every Art Attack episode, try it yourself. That's, yeah. <clears throat> Tell us more about the memory loss. Um, I, I don't know what to say, really. Have you forgot? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I think I forgot. I think I forgot most of the things sometimes, really. <laughs> but you're a nice guy, Neil. That's all right. That's what matters. Oh, okay. Um, or should I say, to our, see you next time. You going? Time. Are you going, mate? We're not done. Oh, oh we still oh, got oh, a good oh, ten sorry. minutes. I, I, I thought you said. I, I thought you said. I thought you said thank you for the interview. No. No. Not only are you forgetting things, you're also you've also got mild psychosis. You're you're imagining. You're delusional. <laughs> 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 I did have another question. Hey, um, 
So, so what, what was you going to say now, then? I did have another question, but I forgot. <laughs> well, well, <it's> <laughs> Sebastian, <laughs> over to you. It's not funny. It is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually really stunned. The, Liver, the Liverpoolian accent is quite strong. And you don't sound like you've ever set foot in Liverpool, Neil. <laughs> uh, I've, I've, I've tried to be honest, but you, you don't seem to want... You don't seem to want, want to believe me, do you? Do you believe yourself? Well, uh, I, do you... I do believe in myself sometimes, really. How do you believe in yourself when you forget most <laughs> of the things by yourself? <laughs> all, all, I, all I do in my own entire life, right? Um, encouraging people to try it themselves in, in like, if try... they want to be creative or not. Um, they don't have to be a great artists, really. They could just be creative in their own way, really. Uh, uh, as, I, as, I, as I always say, try it yourself. In my own yeah. art attack programs. So, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe lose the sound bites and. Um... <laughs> Out of all of that, okay, over the over your career, uh, doing art attack, what stands out as your three favourite art attacks? My favourite art attacks. That, that that's really easy, really. One. A dinosaur bank on the first episode of Art Attack Series 5 in 1993. Make a note of that one. I'll be checking that um, out later. And, uh, and two, my, old, my all-time favourite Art Attack is draw some shadows into your pictures and look for the places where the light can't get to in Art Attack Episode 3. Series six. That's Bullshit your, shadows in your pictures. That's your all time favourite, but it's number two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said really. That's what I just said on Art Attack Top Twenty VHS release. Listen, it's on Art Attack Top Twenty. Besides, they're all on par with each other, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, Top Twenty is meant to be about how I chose twenty Art Attacks from the previous eight series of Art Attack we've done in the past five, six or seven years if you, if you know what I mean really. And what's and your you third favourite art attack? Okay, um my third favourite art attack is you can make pictures out of almost anything using newspaper by making a newspaper New York picture on the last episode oh, of Art Attack this. series three. <laughs> Where did you get the music from when you were doing the art attacks? Because sometimes it would play some quite ambient, new agey music. Um, I particularly remember one think... where you're painting a ship and there's these waves, and as as you're pa as you're painting the waves, the music goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one stuck with me actually. That one stuck with me. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that. Well, I know what you. I know what you mean, really. What we're going to say now is, um, uh, what we're going to say now is, um, that music you did already, you imitated already, was on Art Attack Series 3, Series 6, Episode 3, on the same episode, after I'd draw some shadows, I'd get to the next time we can see the You're breaking up, mate. You are breaking up. Could you repeat yourself, Neil? Um, I, I was only with my, I was only with point, pointing out how how my, my art attacks were from the number amount of seasons and episodes. But where did the music come from? I know that was it was I, it music I, I, you made or was it? I, I can't think really. So you didn't make the music. Um, it's not what your band sounds like. I don't, I don't I don't think so really. <laughs> I, I, I bothered just to match it out really. Art Attack, original soundtrack by Marseille. I don't think it would fit somehow being a metal band. Neil, I have noticed that a lot of your art attacks seem to be horror based. Are you actually a fan of horror? Oh yes, I am a fan of horror. What are some of your favourite horror films that inspire your art attacks? Um, Dracula, I think. Which one? Um, 
The one in the 1930s, really, by Universal. Okay. So you like the whole Universal classic horror films? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I... That makes sense, because the episode <laughs> where you do a, I think you call it a horror hanger, is actually based on Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, the one from Art Attack Series 7, Episode 6, and from Art Attack Most Wanted video at, 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 right at the beginning, really. Mm. Mm. And mm. Mm. what's it, did another fucking sign on another episode. Another fucking sign um, what? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Have I made another fucking I, 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 did, I did another... I, I, I did another... Art, uh, a horror hanger. A horror hanger. I did a big art attack of a Frankenstein... <laughs> we're losing connection again. Apart from horror hanger, I did another art attack episode in... The first episode in Art Attack Series 11, where... But I did the one I did... 3D noughts and crosses. Then I did a okay. big art attack of a mm -hmm. Frankenstein in the movie movie set, really. Well, the one damned. the one from Art Attack Monster Video from VHS from 2002. Mm. Oh, oh, I remember that. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, it, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I like that. That was my latest Art Attack Video Chest ever made, released from VCI, known I as... Video Collection International, if you know what I'm Yeah, you've got, you've got an archive memory for your VHSs, haven't you, mate? Yeah, of course I have, really. You forget everything else in your life, though. Everything, except your VHS archive. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's because I... Um, it's because you're 56, oh isn't it? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Hang on a sec, I'm not too sure this is Neil Buchanan. I don't think you're Neil Buchanan. <laughs> I think you're having us on. No, it was me, really. Uh, oh. Was it, is it? I just had, I just had a loss of memory. <laughs> Look, it was, it was him, but it's not him now. So what did you do with the money, Neil, when you got the 14 million? Um, I gave it to my family and friends. You gave it to your family and friends? You gave 14 million to your family and friends? That's, That's a incredibly lot of money. charitable. I am quite chari charitable. Um, I, I, I really can't stand people not having enough cash, really, unfortunately. That's how I got. I ended up getting a few thousands of money pounds really from doing my art attack work really yeah it sounds like the well, you got bankrupt as well so what's life like for you now neil what's neil buchanan up to nowadays um still doing the band still, so, still being a musician and the band player really after 10 years since i left art attack what instrument you got do you any? play um I did the electric guitar, actually. Okay. Ever considered a solo career? Um, say that again. Ever considered a solo career in music? Um, I don't know their names. Pardon? Uh, I don't know their names, really. Sorry, that doesn't quite make sense, does it? <laughs> uh, so if you look at thinking about pursuing a solo career and you're saying I, you don't know their names, I, I've always spent I always spend a lot of time in my thinking about my my art attack years. Really, I, I enjoy <laughs> thinking about it. it spend a lot of time thinking about your art attack years. How do you think about your art attack years when you can't remember them? Oh, I'll remember. You, you watch the VHSs, don't you? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I do, actually. So this is what life's become, is it, Neil? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> you took 14 million, you gave it to your friends and family, you live in a flat on your own, watching VHSs of your old show. All day, every day. Every single day.
Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. What was I going to say was, um, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like looking at my old hairstyle from the first and second and third and fourth series of Heart Attack. But there's my, a twice my hairstyle now you brought up the hairstyle. Hairstyle I ever, I ever had. What's what was what, what? You seem obsessed with the hair. What 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 is with the hair? My my old hairstyle from the very first series of Heart Attack in nineteen ninety mm. looks kind of, kind of ridiculous, really. Um, like it, I said, it, it was like I, that, it was, it, it was naff, but it was an eighties hairstyle. Um, just like I said, um, Heart Attack. How to draw a video chess. I said, I'll only show it if you promise not to laugh at the hairstyle. I said that in 2000, I did. You, you, you need to cut yourself some slack, I reckon. It's yeah. just hair. Yeah. yeah, I get the impression you're incredibly <laughs> self critical. Did you know that when your anxiety peaks, that can actually affect your memory? And I'm just thinking about you gave all your money away. You're not really doing much other than watching VHSs of your old 90s programme. You don't sound like you're in the best place, Neil. Oh, well, uh, uh, I don't know what to say, really. I want to give my give, give some of the fortune to get my family going, really, so they, they won't get poor. Yeah, there's quite a lot of money, they, though. They, they can spend on food and drinks, really. 40 million. So they won't million. get homeless. Spend it on... Take away in booze. Most people enjoy drinking beer or alcohol. Beer. I, I, I do. I do like drinking, but mind you, we really don't want. No, we really don't want to be a drunk presenter. Presenter in a heart attack. Otherwise, I get I get banded for the rest of my life away from heart attack and be replaced. Is this something is this, that happened? Is this something that happened? Yeah, I was just wondering that. Did you have a drinking problem? Quite specific. Well, well, yeah. I got replaced by by some kind of weird weirdo in when it when I when it got the rights when they got the rights to art type to Disney Junior in twenty eleven. So actually, they were trying to get rid of you because of a drinking problem. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's awesome. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do. I do sometimes start to speak properly, really. Neil, the, we're coming to the end of the interview, um, but I'm just wondering if you've got any words of advice for young people now, sort of interested in art. What What would that be? Simple. It's try it yourself. That's brilliant. Thanks, Neil. Zebrastian, do you have anything you want to add before we leave the interview? Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about um, his send-off. My problem is he just kept repeating the sound bites. It was just the sound bites and the VHSs. Um, you, you asked, because I would have liked to have known uh, myself what um, Leo's, sorry, I would have liked to know myself what Neil's advice was to children about who may consider pursuing art in school or just as a hobby. But it was just try it yourself. And at the end of the day, I know it is effectively just trying it yourself, but when people say try it yourself, they know it's art attack. So yeah, 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 that's right. I'm um, still here. I, I, I would also say. It doesn't have to be neat or anything. It could just be your own thing, really. That's your advice. That's it, your it, advice. It could, it, could, it, could, it could be a pop star or superheroes or a character from the telly, really. That's more like it. What could be? What could be a pop star, superhero, or a character from the telly? Um, your favourite comic strip character or... <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Neil. Um, it's been a pleasure. That's all right then. I, I, 
you, you guys are the are the best. I really like like to really. I, re, I, I was very excited to meet you, really. And we've been, I, I we've, we've you been excited to, to meet you to hear all again. the interesting facts and to hear about what what were your experience of Art Attack was like, um, and a little bit about what drew you towards Art Attack and what your inspirations were, what your favourite artists were, and what your, what your experience of being in a band was like since you've been in it since 1976. It's a long-running so band. It must be fairly successful. But we've, we've got none of that information. So... <laughs> thanks, anyway. Take care. Same to you. Until next time, so are.